Hi everybody, we're gonna talk about what's on. So today I'm wearing the Armory's Model 6 Double Breasted. Uh, I had this made up for myself in a Fox Brothers tweed in this kind of denim blue. It's really interesting material. It's got a little bit of a pale gray mixed in there as well. Quite a hairy sort of tweed. Um, really nice in casual use. Uh, I've got an Ascot Chang button down shirt using Grande and Rubinelli cloth. I've got a pair of the Armory's Sport Chinos on. So this is our washable chino. Uh, I'm wearing a pair of, these are samples. I'm wearing a pair of the Armory's Rioma boots. So this is our Chelsea boot. We normally make it in uh, brown calf, but I made a pair in brown suede just to see what it's like. And I gotta say, I really like it. It's, um, I don't know, it's got a good look. It's very comfortable. Uh, I did it with a half rubber sole. Um, so it's a good kind of knocking about boot. This is the first time I've worn them. And I'm pretty pleased with them. Wrist check. Uh, I have a Cartier tank. Um, you know what, when I bought this, what is kind of interesting about this, right, is that Cartier doesn't necessarily do a limited edition, limited by number, they just limit it by production year. So apparently if you go to the store and you ask for one of these, like any time before the end of this year, they will deliver it sooner or later. Um, it's not like where some companies are like, okay, we're just making a hundred of them. You know, they, they kind of do this open-ended thing and it's just time limited rather than unit limited, which I thought was an interesting approach. Um, I wear today, I've got a pair of iVans, uh, which is a glasses brand out of Japan. And uh, this is one of the few kind of gold frame glasses that I ever saw and I really liked. Uh, but you know, given the gold buttons on my blazer, I thought, okay, it'd be nice to kind of match everything up in terms of metals. Um, speaking of gold buttons, uh, so you know, obviously people are wearing tailoring in a little bit of a different way these days and things are getting a little more casual. And I feel like I have started to pay a lot more attention to buttons than I ever did. You know, before the default was always, oh, that should be horn, that should be horn, that should be horn. You know, whereas now there's like a lot more opportunity to do like brass buttons, to do mother of pearl buttons. Um, and it's pretty fun to experiment. Uh, this is probably the third or fourth garment I've made with metal buttons on it. And it just adds, you know, something a little bit different to the Garmin. Um, in fact, it's slowly started to make its way into our ready to wear as well. Um, so for instance, we did this garment uh, as, a, as a collaboration piece with Mr. Slowboy, who was a very talented illustrator out of London. And uh, we did a heavyweight cotton with a brass button on there. You know, if you are interested in getting into metal buttons, um, the first port of call for everybody is always, oh, you should do a blue blazer with silver brass buttons. And yeah, you could do that, but I, I actually find that probably harder to wear than something like this, or even maybe something like this. Reason being like blue blazer with gold buttons is such an archetype, such a stereotype uh, that, I don't know, maybe you might find it a little bit stifling. Maybe you find it, uh, the connotations of it too strong, or maybe you find that it's uh, a little bit too dressy in your mind. And uh, so you're a little, you find it a little difficult to work it into your wardrobe. Whereas like, if you do something like this, you know, heavyweight cotton with a brass button, it's sort of not that expected in the first place. And so weirdly, it actually gives you a lot more freedom to do whatever you want with it in your own wardrobe. So think about brass buttons in that way. And as for the inevitable question of, should you match your metals? Um, I mean, it's not the end of the world if you don't match your metals. Personally, I like to match my metals. Uh, and plus if you wear, you know, kind of gold colored buttons, gives you an opportunity to wear a gold watch, which is always a pleasure. I always enjoy wearing a little gold watch. Okay, so uh, you guys obviously haven't seen me on camera in a little while. I just got out of quarantine. Uh, I am back in Hong Kong. It's very great to be out and about again. Um, we have a few things coming up. Uh, so we're gonna shoot a little bit about uh, our tailoring for the season. I know the video is quite late, um, but you know, we're just busy with so many other things. And frankly, it seems like a lot of people already knew what to do with the tailoring anyways. But I did wanna highlight a few pieces because there are a few pieces that I think are really outstanding and maybe people don't quite know what to do with them until they see perhaps a styling video. This being one of them. This is awesome. I really love this. This is 100% cashmere in a really, really unusual colorway, yeah? It's pale gray and mid gray mixed together. You know, normally when you get Hound's Teeth, Prince of Wales, that sort of pattern, it tends to be in pattern, in colorways that are more high contrast, right? So you have like a dark navy or a black against like a cream or a very pale gray. Whereas this is like pale gray and mid gray. And so this is a great example of a gray sport coat um, but at the same time, because it's in cashmere, it's a very fine cashmere, not that hairy. Like, it's also a very refined garment. And I think it's a really great option for, you know, if someone invites you to, like, a holiday party and the dress code is, like, smart, smart casual, like, this is great for that sort of thing, you know? Um, I mean, we are in 
holiday party season, right? Like I'm wearing this today uh, because I've got two holiday parties to go to today. And uh, you know, with the holiday parties coming up, there's a nice opportunity to wear things that are you know, like a little more detailed, a little more like smarter, still fun, but a little bit more detailed and more smart, uh, a little more fun. All right, um, finally, uh, a lot of people have been asking if we can do another live stream. Uh, the answer of course is yes. And so we will be announcing a little bit later uh, next week when we will do the live stream, but probably like next week, next Friday or something like that, we'll do a live stream. So if you're up for, if you want to ask any questions in advance, feel free, please feel free to leave it in your comments. Sorry, I'm tripping over my words a lot today. I'm just very excited to see everybody. Alrighty, that's about it for now. And thanks for watching.